Hello, I'm Claire, one of the Reference and Instruction Librarians at GCC. I'm making this video to show you a few of the key features of two different databases, Opposing Viewpoints and Context and Academic Search Premier. Okay, I am going to start on the GCC Library homepage, and I'm going to click on the big blue button that says Databases. Our databases page has three featured options, and then below are links to resources by subject. The two that we're going to look at today are featured databases that have content across a variety of subjects. But if your topic has to do with a particular specialty like biology, history, or psychology, it's good to look in the subject databases if you're not finding much in Opposing Viewpoints or Academic Search Premier. I'm going to go to Opposing Viewpoints first. I'm on campus, so when I click on it, I'm not asked to log in. Remember, if you're accessing this from off campus, you'll have to enter your library card number and your password. Unless you've reset it, your password is your last name in all capital letters. Hopefully, you've created a list of search terms or keywords. It's good to try searching for a few different combinations of those as you'll get different results depending on what combination of terms you search for. For example, I am going to search for race and class in America. And I'm taken to a fairly limited list of results with sources separated by type. There are news articles, scholarly journal articles, and viewpoints, which are like encyclopedia entries. They're summaries of topics. I'm going to go to the advanced search option and show you how making a few changes in my search yields a larger list of results. Now I'm going to search for race and class and America or United States. I'm including both of those with an or between them and quotation marks around United States in order to search for that as a phrase. Now I see a much longer list of results. This first scholarly article sounds interesting, so I'm going to click on it. Anytime you click on an article in Opposing Viewpoints, you'll see a list of tools to the right. If you click on Citation Tools, you can get the formatted citation for the article, which you can copy and put in your Works Cited list. You can also email the article to yourself if you think you might use it later. Now I'm going to go to Academic Search Premier. This database has an uglier interface than Opposing Viewpoints, but it indexes thousands more articles. Unfortunately, it indexes many more articles than are actually available in full text. If you see an article that you really, really want that isn't available in full text, please get in touch with us and we can get it for you, usually in a day or two, from one of our partner libraries. You can also make it a little easier for yourself and click the option for full text in order to limit your search to just articles that are available immediately. I'm going to start typing in hurricanes. And the database will suggest some options. I'm going to search for hurricanes or cyclones or typhoons and global warming or climate change and America or United States or US or USA. Unlike opposing viewpoints, Academic Search Premier mixes all types of articles together. So periodicals, which are articles from magazines, are mixed in with academic journals and other source types. You can limit by date range, or if you prefer, change the results list so that the most recent articles are listed first. 
When you click on an article that sounds interesting, you're taken to a page with an abstract, which is a summary of the article. As with opposing viewpoints, there's a list of tools that appears to the right, including site. Make sure you scroll down until you see the citation format that your professor requires. Most GCC professors use either MLA or APA format. There's also an option to email it to yourself. If you want to read the full article, click on the PDF icon or the HTML icon if the article appears in HTML full text. This has been a really quick overview of these two tools. If you run into any questions or issues, please email us at reference at gcc.mass.edu, send us questions via chat, stop into the library, or call us at 413-775-1830. Thanks for watching this video, and please let me know if there's any additional help I can provide. Good luck with your research!